Here we have 13.5 using Kramer's rule to solve a two by two system of linear equations. So for Kramer's rule, you need three different matrices to figure it out. You need D, which is going to be the coefficient matrix, which means you're basically just using the X and Y columns of the augmented matrix. Then you're going to need for two by two, there's only two variables. So there's DX and DY, okay? And so then this matrix is actually going to be, you're gonna replace the X with the constants. So the X column is now the constants, and then the Y stays the same. Whatever the, super, whatever the subscript is here, that's the column that you replace with the constants. So when they say DY, I'm gonna replace the Y column with the constants, and then of course the other one is gonna stay the same as the matrix coefficient, okay? So then now let's go ahead and work this out. And then the, the thing that about the Kramer's rule, Kramer's rule just says that X will be DX over D, and Y will be DY over D, okay? So once you figure out the determinants of all those three matrices, you should be able to use this ratio to figure out what X and Y are. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through. The first one I'd ask you for is D. So I took all of the coefficients of the matrix, put them in here, I cross multiplied, and I ended up getting 47, okay? So I did positive 32 minus 15, which is actually positive 32 plus 15, that's where I got 47 from. Now it asks me to fill in the matrix and then tell them what X is. So um, I filled in the matrix, I replaced X with <coughs> the constants, one, three. The Y um, column stayed the same. I did negative eight minus 15, which actually minus a negative 15, which is negative eight plus 15, which is where the positive seven came from. We already know from the previous that D equals 47. And if this could simplify, I would simplify it, but it doesn't. So that is going to be the X value in the end. For Y, I need to put DY here. So the Y column will now have the constants and the X column will stay the original as from the augmented matrix. So when I multiply this, I get negative 12 minus three is negative 15. D we already know is 47. If this can simplify, we would simplify it, but in my case, it doesn't simplify, so that's the answer for Y. But this is exactly the way it works for a two by two system. A three by three system is no different as far as what's happening. The only thing that changes a little bit is how you find the determinant, because in three by three matrices, finding the determinant is a little bit more extensive of a process, okay? But finding DX by replacing the X column with the constants, DY by replacing the Y column with the constants, and even in a three by three, Z would get replaced with the constants. Um, that, that whole system, um, the Kramer's rule is still applicable to the three by three matrix, which is more than likely the next uh, topic.